We're out here on Parque Fernando looking for pumas, and I'm gonna show you my favorite spots for those. Oh, we got a somewhat derby looking one right there. See if I can get him down. The 30 odd 6 does make a pretty quick work of the Puma. You can use the 7mm. I do prefer just having the potential to take a uh, quick follow up shot though, and uh, it's not, it pretty much never needed on the Puma, even if you're shooting 300 meters, no problem because um, they die so easy. But I'm gonna give you a few of the spots that I go and check for uh, when I'm out here looking for my Milanistic Puma. Most of the time, I don't really find any Milanistic, but I have gotten quite a few diamonds out of these lakes and a um, pretty, pretty solid amount of uh, uncommon fur variations as well as a few albinos. First lake I am at and pretty much always go to check is this one down here in Laco Bebe. This is an entirely fresh map as well, so I have no idea what's on the map, but it definitely needs to be uh, checked out this spot down here. It is really, really good for pretty much everything. It's a nice looking gold right here. Um, you'll find red deer, water buffaloes, axis deer, and some points even black box, and then of course the puma. And uh, there is quite often teals out there too. The usual drink time for the Puma is at 6.30 till 9.30. Um, so if you head out around 6.30 and just give them like five minutes, real life minutes to kind of settle in, then you start working your way around these spots and uh, you'll have a pretty good idea of what is going on. But the entire East Coast can be pretty good for Pumas as well. I'm not going to check it out because uh, I don't want to be dealing with a lot of angry bugged water buffaloes right now. Another place you need to go when you're hunting for pumas is this lake down here. It is notoriously known as Puma Lake and a pretty good reason for that. Over there, got a few pumas drinking, nothing out of the ordinary, unfortunately. But uh, you can find pumas pretty much everywhere around here. Ooh, is that a gray mythical? Uh, they can be drinking all the way up here as well. They can be somewhat tricky to spot. If you spot the axis to your standing around like that you're pretty much certain that there's not going to be a puma right nearby you can find them over on this side as well i don't usually see them down in this area and um, probably could be but it's just so much more dense to spot through so uh, i usually don't bother but i do want to pick up that guy right there i think it is a gray it's out on about 300 oh we might have gone a little high on that potentially got ourselves a uh, spine shot out of that unfortunately i do hope that we managed to catch along or something because else we uh, ruined our chances of getting a very very big sized gold gray one i think we might have a track of him here it is gray unfortunately i've always just keep hoping it's an albino and the shading or something has just been messing up but uh, nope this is a uh, gray looking uh, he is mythical though, so might consider taxidermizing it. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get a nice little picture of this boy. It does look really nice. It's an awesome fur variation. I do like them better in albino though. But just give me my melanistic and I will be happy. And there we go. We messed it up by not hitting one of the uh, vital organs. Would have been a nice gold, but um, now all we get is a silver. And the next spot I always go to after I've been at Puma Lake is run north, check over here. You will find Pumas drinking in this area too. And that's a pretty nice looking mythical that is currently somewhat bugged out trying to flee. But uh, go a little lower this time. And they are a big dead, and for once we didn't manage to hit the spinal cord, so we might actually be looking at a gold out of this mythical. Uh, this lake is insanely good for uh, cinnamon teals as well, but pretty much all lakes on Parque Fernando is that. And he was even smaller than the grey one we just got a minute ago, but at least he did score gold. 
this lake, Junto Alago, is really, really good for pumas as well. You'll find red deer drinking down here too. You can find some water buffaloes in the area as well. But these are what we're here for. That's a mythical puma. Usually you'll find another one or two around as well. There we go with a seven. And all the way down here we can be lucky as well. Oh, what's that? Is that a puma? Well, there's one there. I think that might be another one. I can't really spot it. Let's see if we can uh, get a look at it with the Argus. Oh, it is. And that's just a three. So let's take out the level eight across the lake. Should be about 280 away. 260. And there we go. No, it is 280. Let's just get out our gun. 30 out 6, 300, go a little low. And that actually caught a lung. So uh, let's go and pick him up as well. Um, while we're going there, we might as well see if we can pick this guy up. Uh, he is trotting away, but... Try to see if we could catch a lung shot. That actually did not work. Yeah, it did. It did. We did get a single lung. Oh, for a moment I was getting all kinds of, uh, oh, <laughs> worried right there. I love how whenever I set out to do these kind of guide videos, I just end up with uh, all kinds of different animals, and I'm pretty sure that is a long shot. It is a water buffalo, it is only the 300 as well, so it does take quite a while, but we just need a single long shot to take him down, and I don't think anything else would have taken him down that fast other than a vital, so let's see if we can find some good looking blood somewhere i've actually not had a nine water buffalo be diamond since the new scoring system and it is vital blood it is vital so that is awesome should be dead on the other side of this little hill somewhere then came here for a mythical puma and uh, we end up with a big old legendary buffalo i really hope this time it's actually going to be a diamond because so far i've only got like Five of the barked level eights being uh, diamonds with the new true rack for water buffalo. So it would be really, really cool to have a legendary one. Kind of make it feel like it's actually real, but I don't know. It, uh, it has to be a vital shot. I mean, we did run quite a while. Well, it, it showed vital. I, I, I need to be confident in this. But is that going to be big enough? I am honestly not sure. Let's have a look. It is a diamond. Holy. It is an 195.2. With a weight of 1,181 kilos as well. A black. Oh, we got the liver. Oh my god. It wasn't even a lung shot. It was an intestine liver shot. Oh, that is insane. We so got saved by this new scoring system on this one. Once in a while, you are getting really, really lucky with the, the animals. It has gotten a lot easier, but did we just have a little bit less penetration? We wouldn't have managed to get the liver. But the first diamond legendary true rag or true horn water buffalo. Now, let's go and uh, pick up that mythical puma as well. And pick this guy up too. 38.4. Double long shot on about 270 meters. He went down real quick. It was a dark red one as well. Getting all kinds of the funky uncommon fur variations. Another leg that I go and check is the one where you need to do the duck decoy mission. Um, you will have pumas drinking in this area as well. There is basically going to be pumas all over the map. But these are like the spots where I always go to just check them out. Uh, this leg you're bound to find some red deer drinking as well. Normally I have a puma drinking down here, and he is there today as well. Let's pick him up too. Simple shot to make. Should be a good double long shot on that thing as well. But I have a tent here. It was actually a place when I wanted to do the decoy mission, just so I could uh, place all of the decoys from there, and uh, then go teal hunting. But I've never done that, so I pretty much only use this place for uh, oh my god <laughs> oh, for a moment i thought i've uh, pretty much only used this uh, spot here for the puma and red deer hunts and uh, i think we should just take this guy down as well go a little high 
Oh, when he did the big turn. See if we can get around him a little bit. He is calm, so it shouldn't be any big issue getting around that. Although, uh, he is big mythical. He is attentive now. So uh, we might actually get him to have a look at us. Did a jump. Hopefully he is going to see us. Even if he isn't, I think we should be fine taking a shot around here. Ah, I really believed for a moment. Yeah. This should work. And it did indeed. And this is why I really, really love the 30 odd 6 Just these quick follow-up shots. Even though you can use a lot bigger animals, or have uh, weapons on these animals, I uh, tend to just go with this. Another beautiful gold puma. And uh, let's go and pick up our mythical red deer over here as well. And we did get double vital on this mythical red deer. Beautiful looking rack as well. I think he's quite big. 228. We are looking at 249 for diamond. But definitely still a nice... What? Why did it look like we got two vitals when only one of them were? Ah, oh well. Only need one of them to be vital for it to count, but that is a, a nice looking red deer for sure. Another really nice lake to check is this one. You can here find pumas drinking all around it again. Pretty much as any other lake in the game. But this one is just out of uh, an outpost and over there we have a level 7. Uh, oh, that's a decent size black buck. I mean, it's a big weight estimate, but I'm not sure if that's a big... Score estimate. I haven't really been paying too much attention to the black box. Maybe we should just see if we could get him. I only have the 243 though, which might be a little bit of a uh, problem on this distance. Even though we have the polymer tips. Could go ahead and see. Ah, he is big though. Go for the next shot. Is that too insane? I'm not sure I can actually penetrate to the lungs from this angle so let's go ahead and get prone oh about to take that thing hopefully that's either gonna be a neck or a uh, heart shot gonna be a long walk around though and let's just see how big this black bug is oh, it doesn't look that big now that we got closer unfortunately it is a gold. We do need oh, quite a lot bigger for a diamond, but it was a nice hard shot at nearly 300 meters. But these are the spots that I always check for hunting Puma. If you want to do like a quick fast hunt, you can pretty much get all of them very accessible right out of the outpost. Down here south, you spawn at the outpost to run down to where I have the tripod stand. Spot both sides should be cool. Down here you do need a tent though at the Puma Lake. Then you have up here at the decoys where I've also got a place tent. But everywhere else that we've been has been very accessible from a outpost. Over here I didn't actually make it quite in drink time because I spent too much time on the uh, water buffalo. But over here you will be uh, looking at finding a few Pumas as well. Pumas are pretty much everywhere on the entire map. I'd love for you to drop your hotspots for Pumas in the comments as well or on Discord. I will post this picture on Discord in the uh, tips channel. So uh, you should be able to go and find it any time you like. Also keep in mind the entire East Coast is pretty good for Puma. But you're going to have a lot of problems with the water buffaloes as well. Thank you so very much for watching.